Imagine an enemy hidden silently waging war on your body. This enemy, diabetes. An insidious foe, it can lurk undetected. Its harmful effects slowly taking a toll on your health. Across the globe, it has ensnared millions in its grip and the numbers continue to rise. Why is early detection so crucial? Because knowledge is power. Recognizing the signs can be the first step towards winning the battle against this unseen adversary. Today, we're going to delve into the most common signs of diabetes in women, signs that could be your body's cry for help. But we're not just here to alarm you, we're here to arm you with information. So stick with us, we promise it's worth your while. Stay tuned as we unveil the first sign of this silent adversary. Remember, you're not alone in this fight, and together we can turn the tide against diabetes. Sign number seven, a sudden urge to visit the restroom more frequently than usual. Now, who wouldn't like a little extra time to scroll through social media or finish off that crossword puzzle? But if you find yourself going more often than not, it could be a sign of high blood sugar levels. You see, when there's too much glucose or sugar in your bloodstream, your kidney is going to overdrive trying to filter and absorb it. When they can't keep up, the excess sugar is excreted into your urine, dragging along fluids from your tissues and making you pee more. So if you're noticing a significant increase in your loo breaks, Particularly if it's disrupting your sleep, it's not something to brush off. Your body could be waving a red flag that your blood sugar levels are out of whack. If your bathroom trips seem unending, it might be time to pay attention. Following closely at number six, an unquenchable thirst. Have you ever found yourself reaching for a glass of water more often than usual? Perhaps you've noticed that no matter how much you drink, your thirst just doesn't seem to be quenched. This could be more than just a random occurrence. Excessive thirst is your body's way of trying to replenish the fluids lost due to frequent urination, another common sign of diabetes. When there's too much glucose in your bloodstream, your kidneys work overtime to get rid of it, leading to frequent urination. This in turn leaves you feeling thirsty as your body tries to compensate for the loss of fluids. So the next time you find yourself constantly reaching for a drink, don't just brush it off as nothing. Listen to what your body is trying to tell you. After all, it knows you best. Remember, unexplained thirst could be your body sounding an alarm. Halfway through our list at number five, an unusual tiredness. Now we've all felt that mid-afternoon slump, but what we're talking about here is something different. It's a constant feeling of exhaustion, a fatigue that lingers even after a good night's sleep. This isn't about needing an extra cup of coffee or catching a quick power nap. This level of tiredness can be a sign that your body isn't regulating sugar levels as it should. You see, when your body can't effectively use the sugar in your blood, it turns to burning fat for energy instead. But this process isn't as efficient and can leave you feeling drained and worn out. So if you're experiencing a level of fatigue that's out of the ordinary and not linked to an obvious cause like lack of sleep or overexertion, it's a good idea to check in with your doctor. If that cup of coffee doesn't quite cut it, it might be more than just a busy schedule. On to sign number four, blurred vision. A worrying sign indeed. Now you might think that your eyes are just tired or you need a new prescription for your glasses, but sometimes it's not that simple. You see, when your blood sugar levels rise, they can cause the lens in your eyes to swell, which unfortunately results in blurry vision. It's as if you're looking at the world through a fogged up window. It's not just inconvenient, it's a sign that your body is crying out for help. And it's not just about seeing things clearly. High blood sugar levels can wreak havoc on your eye health in the long run, potentially leading to more serious conditions like diabetic retinopathy. So. If you notice a sudden change in your vision, it's crucial to get it checked out. If things are starting to look fuzzy, don't just reach for your glasses. Our third sign is particularly pertinent to women, frequent vaginal yeast infections. Now, you might be wondering, how does diabetes relate to yeast infections? Well, yeast, a type of fungus, thrives on sugar. When your blood sugar levels are high, as is often the case with diabetes, your body becomes a more inviting environment for yeast. Now, let's get a bit more specific. The vagina naturally contains a balanced mix of yeast and bacteria. When this balance is disrupted, which can happen when blood sugar levels are high, yeast can multiply, leading to an infection. If you've been experiencing frequent yeast infections, it might not just be a simple issue of hygiene or diet. It's crucial to understand that while a single yeast infection is not caused for alarm, recurrent infections could be your body's way of telling you something's off. 
Frequent infections could be a red flag your body is waving. So, listen to your body and don't ignore these signs. Almost at the top, at number two, wounds that take longer to heal. Now, this is a sign not to be taken lightly. When you have a scrape or a cut, your body naturally springs into action, beginning the healing process. But if you're diabetic, this process can become sluggish. Here's why. High blood sugar levels can lead to poor blood circulation and affect the function of your red blood cells that carry nutrients to the tissues which are needed for healing. Additionally, elevated blood sugar can have a negative effect on your immune system, making it harder for your body to fight off infections. So, what does this mean for you? If you've noticed that your wounds, cuts or sores are taking longer than usual to heal, it could be a sign of diabetes. This is especially true for sores or wounds on your feet. If your wounds are taking their sweet time, don't ignore it. And the number one sign, polycystic ovary syndrome. Now you might be wondering why polycystic ovary syndrome or PCOS has topped our list. Well, it's because there's a significant connection between PCOS and diabetes, making it a vital sign to watch out for. You see, PCOS is a hormonal disorder that affects one in 10 women of childbearing age. It's characterized by small cysts in the ovaries and can result in irregular periods, acne, excessive hair growth, and unfortunately, it can also lead to insulin resistance a precursor to diabetes. When your body becomes resistant to insulin, it needs more of this hormone to keep your blood sugar levels stable. This can lead to high levels of insulin in the body, which in turn can increase the production of androgens or male hormones. This hormonal imbalance is what triggers the symptoms of PCOS. But how does this link to diabetes, you may ask? Well, insulin resistance is a common condition among women with PCOS. If left unchecked, it can pave the way to type 2 diabetes. In fact, women with PCOS are four to seven times more likely to develop diabetes than women without the syndrome. Understanding this connection is crucial, as early detection and management of PCOS can reduce your risk of developing diabetes. If you've been diagnosed with PCOS, regular monitoring of your blood glucose levels and maintaining a healthy lifestyle can significantly help. So ladies, it's not just about keeping an eye on the more apparent signs like frequent urination, increased thirst or slow healing wounds. It's also about understanding and listening to what your body might be trying to tell you. Remember, knowledge is power. The more you know about your body and the signs it gives you, the better you can manage and prevent health conditions like diabetes. Ladies, your body might be telling you something. Are you listening? And there you have it, the seven signs of diabetes in women. Let's quickly jog our memory. Frequent urination, increased thirst and fatigue are some of the initial signs. Blurred vision could be a red flag, as could recurring vaginal yeast infections. Slow healing wounds and polycystic ovary syndrome are also symptoms that should not be ignored. Remember, these signs serve as a wake-up call, urging you to seek medical advice. Early detection can make a huge difference. It's essential to consult with a healthcare professional if you observe any of these symptoms persistently. Now don't forget to visit diabetesdeletion.com. They have a wonderful collection of 33 delicious recipes that can help in reversing diabetes. It's always a good idea to incorporate healthier options into your diet, and these recipes certainly make it easy and enjoyable. Remember, knowledge is power. Stay informed, stay healthy.